Hello, everyone, and welcome to the new season of the Purposeful Life Show with your host, Adrian Starks. I'm excited to share some new updates of the show with you, starting with a new look, sound, and energy, as well as a variety of guests coming aboard with intriguing topics of conversation. I hope you enjoy the new level of energy that will be brought to the show. Thank you for all of your support since the very beginning in 2019. Wow, it's been three years already? (laughs) Because of you, the Purposeful Life Show is now in the top 5% of all podcasts globally, and we aim to get it into the top 1%. Continue listening to the show and share it with others. You can also now listen to the show on my Facebook page at Adrian Starks, where you can comment in real time and communicate with me about your aha moments. Thank you again for all of your support. And let's make this one hell of a year and be purposeful about doing that. Wishing you all much love and success. Feeling the need to get away and go travel? We all do. Whether you are looking to relax on a Hawaiian beach, explore the cobble streets of Europe, or visit wherever on your bucket list, it can be a tiresome search. Where can you go right now with COVID and travel restrictions? Is it worth the effort to think about it? Should you start planning? On this episode, I speak with travel consultant and expert Jen Albert as she provides the answers regarding travel restrictions, cancellation policies, and why her 2022 client calendar is nearly full. In her words, you should plan now and travel later. Welcome to the Purposeful Life Show on the Connect Now podcast with your host, Adrian Starks. If you're looking for the ideas that could be your breakthrough for change in your business, career, or personal life, then this podcast is for you. Join Adrian as he speaks on topics of personal and professional development for the person behind the business and interviews a variety of entrepreneurs, business owners, and thought leaders to reveal their ideas and solutions to success and its challenges. Subscribe to the show and leave us a review. It's time to connect, learn, and grow. Welcome back to the Purposeful Live Show. I'm your host, Adrian Starks. And before we get started on this exciting episode today, I want to remind you to download this podcast onto your favorite podcast platform, subscribe to the show, and push that notification bell. Today, we got a fun episode. We're going to talk about traveling and the importance of having a traveling consultant. And you may be thinking, well, why do I need to travel? Aren't we in restrictions right now? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about because I have a special friend on right now. And her name is Jen Albert, and she has a phrase, plan now, travel later. And I want to talk about that because I certainly want to travel later. Before we get into Jen's bio, I just want Jen to say hello to our audience. Jen, are you there? I am. Hi, everyone. Thanks for having me, Adrian. Oh, you're welcome. Well, thank you for coming on because I can attest right now that we all want to get out and travel. So let's tell the audience about your bio here. Let's just get right into that. Jen Albert is a travel consultant who works with solo travelers, couples, and groups to plan extraordinary beach and adventure vacations. She truly believes that together with Flight Center, she will be able to match you with your dream beach vacation, oh, that sounds good right now, or your next amazing adventure. Whether you are looking to relax on a Hawaiian beach, think about the water in the background and the winds, guys. Play the slots in Vegas, ching, ching. Check out your favorite band in a world-class city. Explore the cobble streets of Europe eat your way through the local markets in Asia or visit wherever else is on your bucket list, she can take you there. Jen's dedicated to making your next vacation better and more memorable than you've ever dreamed possible. She is committed to researching and finding the perfect destination to your next holiday, whether it's a last-minute getaway, month-long adventure, budget-friendly, all-inclusive, or five-star luxury vacation. Jen, welcome to the show, my friend. Hello. Thanks for having me again. Well, thank you for being here. And, you know, Jen, I want to go ahead and talk about the big problem right now with everyone. We are feeling very stuck because of the restrictions that are in place, quarantine. And it's not just quarantine in our homes, quarantine in our minds, because traveling, it opens us up. It allows us to feel better about ourselves and see the world. Are people currently booking for traveling now and for next year? Yes, people are booking because we've been restricted, 
for so long. People are just anxious and excited to have something to look forward to. They're anxious to get out and mm -hmm. excited to have something to look forward to. So yes, people are booking for December, January, and oh. Oh. onwards. So I know December seems like far away, but it's really not. And there are a lot of suppliers right now that have relaxed their cancellation policies, their deposit policies, their payment policies. So now is actually a really good time to be booking okay. because as we know, travel pricing is based on supply and demand. Okay. So right now, things are slowly filling up. And because at the moment, there are destinations and properties with reduced capacity, Okay. That's going to start driving the prices up. So people have been booking their stuff now, even though it's, you know, for January, February, March. This is great to know, Jim, because what many people believe, including myself, is that, well, what's the need of planning for anything right now if we can't go anywhere? And that's kind of a negative view to have on travel, which I feel we're missing out on a lot of these great opportunities that you just mentioned. Could you tell us a little bit more about the travel restrictions that are in place currently? Maybe give us some insight on that. Um, well, as Canadians, we all know that travel is not encouraged at the moment, especially international travel. Yeah. But if you are traveling, once you come home, at the moment, we've got you know the three-day government-sanctioned hotel quarantine that, it's, that is at your own expense, and then you've got a quarantine for 14 days after that, regardless if you have a negative or positive COVID test, which you need upon re-entry into Canada. Um, and if you do decide that, you know what, I just, I need to get out of here. Um, there are different restrictions for each country. So there are some countries that aren't accepting travelers at the moment. There are countries where if you are wanting to travel, that you do need to fill out like a health application form before you travel and you need okay. to have that on your phone or in hand before you're allowed in. Um, again, you will need a negative COVID test. There are certain restrictions when you land. There are some places where if you do land, you're only allowed in certain areas. Like you can only be allowed at the property that you're booked into for a certain amount of time. And you may not be able to leave that area at all. So yes, you can travel, but there are restrictions. Good, that's good to know for us to know that we can travel and, but there are restrictions because here's the thing that I want to tell everyone today. Their restrictions are in place and we have to deal with that reality. That's just the way things are right now. And as opposed to complaining about it and saying, well, I can't go anywhere, so what's the point? What we need to know is what are the travel restrictions? This is why it's important to have a travel consultant like Jen, the people that can tell you, okay, these are things that are in place for where you want to go and this is what you need to do. It saves a lot of time, saves a lot of frustration. Jen, are there any current cancellation policies or anything like that when it comes to travel? Because I'm sure that people are listening today, they're probably wondering, well, if I buy my ticket, if I do this and set things up, what happens if I need to cancel or what happens if all of a sudden they're telling us that we can't go? There are different policies in place for different suppliers. Okay. Um, but a lot of them, again, are relaxed compared to 2019 and 2020 where there are a lot of um the dates have been moved up i guess okay so if you're needing to cancel or reschedule normally it would be say like 90 days and that's been moved up to like 45 25 7 depending again on the supplier the type of travel that you've booked um that sort of thing so as a travel consultant i would make sure that if I am booking something for you, then we've got all the policies in place. You know exactly what you're getting into before you book. Mm -hmm. um, and then if anything changes between the day we book and the day either your final payments are due or the date of travel, travel consultants are always on top of that for you. Okay. So a good travel consultant will keep you updated on any changes and any requirements that have come into play. And... Um, yeah, any like cancellations, any changes, anything fun that's new that's come up as well. Like that's what we're here for. So. Well, I love that. Jen, I'll be honest with you here. I used to think that I could book things on my own with my speaking, traveling. But here's the thing. It is not easy. You just can't go into Google and say, oh, I'm going to book this flight and do these things. A lot of people do that. I don't want that frustration and spending that time doing something that someone can do for me, especially in a better way. What are some of the advantages of having a traveling consultant? 
Um, well, one that you just mentioned is that you don't have time. Mm -hmm. So we save you that time in doing all the research, finding you the best schedule for your flights, finding you the best hotels for your lo location that you're looking for that cater to your needs. I mean, traveling as a speaker for yourself, there may be hotels that cater to um, business people rather than vacationers. So you don't want to be in a hotel and having to work, work, work while people are partying around you. Like that's not conducive to... Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's good for me to know. ...working environment, mm -hmm. right? And there's always... Um, there are certain hotels that offer certain amenities for the business travelers. So you've got your business center and, you know, Wi-Fi and all that stuff. Not ho all hotels include Wi-Fi in their bookings. Sometimes it's an extra cost. Working with an agent who has um, contacts at that hotel may offer you better amenities while you're there just knowing that you have that contact um again with the contact so like in the last year because we haven't been doing a lot of booking and traveling a lot of us a lot of travel consultants have been working on their training and strengthening those connections with properties and certain brands and certain suppliers so when it does come time to travel again we've already got an idea of what hotels what destinations mm -hmm. can offer you a little bit more by booking through a travel consultant there yes you can book online go ahead you're free to do so but for the same price that you could book for something online i may be able to get you a free upgrade i may be able to get you resort credits i may be able to you know get you tickets to something at no extra cost to you it's not always the case but a lot of the time we are able to offer you just a little bit more for the same pricing that you would be able to look for something online. Plus you have the peace of mind of having that consultant behind you. And again, if things change, we're able to keep you updated on that. Love it. You had me at the upgrade and getting resort credits. Just for our audience, Jen is not guaranteeing this all the time, but it, there could be an opportunity where this may happen. So don't just you know, reach out to Jen when we're done today and say, well, Adrian said that you can give me the hookup every single time. No, Adrian did not say that. What I am saying is that I like the fact that there's an opportunity to be able to get some type of incentive by having a travel consultant on your side. It's very important for us to understand, too, that travel consultants, Jen, they go through a lot of research and work of what they do. And I think that a lot of people don't realize this. When you're booking things for people, how long does it take to find out something? Could it be minutes, hours, just so people can get an understanding of the amount of work that goes into this? Because they need to know that. Right. So depending on the type of vacation or holiday you're looking for, um, like a first consultation could take anywhere from 30 minutes just to get a quick overview of what you're looking for to an hour, a couple hours, a couple of different consultations just to, you know, narrow down exactly what you're looking for, what type of holiday you picture in your head, what type of properties or suppliers. Um, I know I have in my resource guide that we can match it up and then things will evolve over time as well as we're planning things out. So say you and your partner wanted to book an all-inclusive mm -hmm. but you weren't sure where you weren't sure you're like i want to go to mexico i want to you know i want to check out tulum the ruins in tulum that sounds good okay well right so tulum is accessible all through the riviera maya so you could stay in cancun you can stay in like playa Mujeres. you can stay right in tulum all along that coast there are so many different places that you could stay but are you partiers? Do you want something quiet? Do you want something family friendly? Do you want it adults only? Do you want it all inclusive? Do you want it on the beach? Do you want it in the jungle? Like there's so many different options for one vacation in one location. So we try and really narrow down what you think you want in a vacation. <laughs> and I, for myself personally, I now have a huge network of travel agents that have been doing this for a lot longer than me that have the knowledge that have the resources that have been on property inspections which i haven't had a chance to do yet because of the restrictions in place um so i can get first-hand knowledge of how accessible hotels are what the food is like and get real world reviews rather than something on TripAdvisor. you know somebody had a bad day so they wrote a bad review 
I can actually have real reviews from real people and from their clients and the feedback and all that. So did that answer your question? That answered my question. I'm pretty sure it answered a lot of people's question here. Thank you so much for that because this is... That was a lot. Sorry. Hey, this is nothing to be sorry about because I want people to understand the amount of work that goes into being a travel consultant because like I mentioned before, I was ignorant of that in the very beginning, thinking I can just go to Google and just buy a ticket. Now, if you're just going to go see a relative or see a friend, maybe that could be for you. But if you're looking to Mm -hmm. go somewhere and stay and experience good things and want to have less stress, less frustration, less pressure, travel consulting is the way to go. And I want us to all just think about that for a second. And I want to repeat this phrase that Jen always says, plan now, travel later. Let's keep that in mind. Speaking of keeping things in mind, Jen is an amazing person, and I want to remind everyone how really cool she is because I'm going to bring up something here she's probably going to laugh about. Jen doesn't just know about traveling. She knows about food, and in particular, donuts. (laughs) So she and I share this common love and passion for traveling and donuts. And Jen, speaking of that passion for the two of those things, what got you into the passion of traveling and being a consultant and helping people experience new things out here in the world so i've always had like a fascination with people's travel stories um i love hearing about things that people have done on vacation the cool places they've been and i haven't personally had a lot of experience with big travel and that's just due to family we we did a lot of family Mm -hmm. travel um i've been with my husband for 21 years oh that's great congratulations it's been we've been together a long time and but his family's in ontario so like our summer vacations were three weeks in southern ontario at lake erie and i would not trade that for anything but in that time like we took all our vacation at once so we didn't have a lot of chance to take time to explore other places. I mean, we've driven across Canada. We lived in Winnipeg for a bit. You know, that's we've done little trips to Las Vegas, you know, weekends in Vegas. Um, we've been to New York a few times. <laughs> <Just> a few <laughs> times. Um, we've been to Palm Springs. So now that we're not going back to Ontario every summer, we've split it up. Paul's dad comes out to visit us now out here on the West Coast once a year. So that's freed up time for us to be able to go and explore other places. But yeah, it's the stories. And the couple of years ago, Paul and I both decided that, you know what, we had a look at ourselves and our lives and we're like, we want to do this more. We want to travel more. What could we do that would allow us to earn a living from our laptops? So I quit my full-time job. I started a business as a virtual assistant and through networking and different workshops and trying to build my like professional development and my personal development. It just travel kept coming up and kept repeating itself in everything I did. And then finally on scrolling through Facebook and it's, you know, Facebook knows, Facebook knows you so well. (laughs) There was um, info session that popped up for independent by flight center. And I thought, oh, this looks interesting. So I registered and I went and I met some amazing, amazing people. And halfway through the presentation, I was like, okay, how do I sign up? How do I do this? I can do this. I like helping people. I like hearing travel stories. I want to write my own travel stories. I want to be in those travel stories. And so that's where I am. That's how I ended up here. Amazing story. I'm always curious to see how people get involved with what they're currently doing and what they're passionate about. And this Mm -hmm. is why Jen is great at what she does. She has a passion for it. She's just not someone just, okay, where do you want to go? and trying to book you, she really wants you to have that personal experience, that adventure that I mentioned back in her bio of taking you to a place. Speaking of the bio, Jen mentioned cobble streets of Europe. Now, automatically for me, it takes me back to 2018 when I went to Florence, Italy. So the way that Jen is able to capture the memories and help you see something, it gives you a sense of personal freedom. And Mm -hmm. I want you to think about right now, where do you wanna go in 2022 you have to start thinking about that don't think about well i can't go anywhere now no that's not what this episode is about remember plan now travel later 
And traveling is so good for us because it opens up our eyes and allows us to see more things out here. And Jen, you mentioned about how you and Paul looked at yourselves and you realized that you wanted to do more traveling. A lot of people want to do more traveling, and they don't have the tools and resources to find out where they want to go and how to get there. So today, you're sharing with them the story of how you got to where you are and how you're going to help them get to where they want to go. So for our audience today, when you're done listening to this episode, I want you to go into the appointment notes of this podcast and to find Jen's information and to reach out to her to find a way to start planning your travel. And speaking of planning your travel, Jen... What place is on your list that you are excited to travel to for your next vacation? My list is so ridiculously long. <laughs> I actually have on our fridge, and this is like, like the paper is browning. It's been on our fridge for so long. But I've got a list of places, and it's like color-coded, so things that are close that are inexpensive, things that are close that are a little bit more expensive, things that are far that are inexpensive, things that are far that are like five-star, but it's on my list. So one day I will get through that list. Um, but I actually do have something booked for the end of January, and I'm super excited about it because I get to experience. So Virgin Voyages is a new, newish thing. So I'm not a cruise person. I was lucky enough to go on one cruise with my family when I was 28. And it was just a short cruise from Vancouver down to LA. But it ended up with me and my sister in Disneyland for the first time at 28 and 24. <laughs> and we had the best time. But I was like, meh, I'm not really into cruising. Although I do have friends that do at least one cruise a year. And I'm talking like Mediterranean, transatlantic, Caribbean. They've been everywhere and they love it. And I was always like, nah, no thanks. I'm good. But <laughs> doing my training for Virgin Voyages, um, it just got me really excited about it. And so now I get to experience it for myself at the end of January. And it's just a quick five day cruise. But I mean, it's adults only. There's so many things that are included. We get to stop in like Costa Maya for a day. They've got um, their private beach club at Bimini in the Bahamas. So I'm really just looking forward to one, just having something on the calendar because it's been a year since I've been on a plane. I kind of miss that. I miss the people watching in the airport, which is ridiculous. I miss that too. <laughs> like... <laughs> Airports and malls, I don't know, they're just, humanity is just great. Um, just the fact that, you know, you could be in Vancouver and then five hours later be in a totally different environment. Like, you can be in the desert in California, you can be on the Strip in Vegas, you can be in New York. Like, so I just want to be able, I'm excited to be able to travel a little bit farther than that and just to have something on the calendar to look forward to. So that's what I'm excited for right now. Well, you've got me excited right now, too. And let me tell you, this is why we're good friends. You love donuts, you love traveling, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you like airports. I feel yeah. the same way. I was just telling my partner about this the other day. I said to her, there's two places I like to be, in bookstores and airports. And this place that we're in right now reminds me of an airport. And she looked at me kind of weird, like, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm like... To the people that are traveling a lot, that they know what that means, what an airport looks like and how it feels to you. It's a sense of nostalgia that you, you're walking through it and you feel like, mm -hmm. I can go anywhere I want to go. It's that personal freedom. So, yeah, we want to get back to that. Start planning now and then you can get back to that in the future. Jen, this has been a wonderful conversation and I love the perspective that you have on travel and more importantly, why you're passionate about it and the fact that you really want to help people get to where they want to go and not just book them. You really want them to have a personal experience because you mentioned this in your story when you told me about how you got into what you were doing and just seeing other people be happy when they're traveling and doing things. Now you're bringing that personal experience into how you help book people. Is there anything that you would like to share with our audience today that can let them get in contact with you or even to help them with any decision making that they may need? Oh, yeah, for sure. So you can find me on Facebook or Instagram. Um, my handle is raincity.traveler with two L's. My contact info is there. There's a link on my Instagram. You can check out my bio. You can book a consultation. 
um, with me right there. My calendar is up there. You can email me. My email is jen.albert at fcitravel.ca. But yeah, if you want to book a consultation, definitely use my calendar link. Um, my schedule is there. Let's find something that works for you. And I'm not sure that a lot of people know this, but travel consultants, you're going to see this more and more. Um, we're going to be working on a fee plus commission basis. A lot of like okay. days past, travel agents would be paid only by commission. But with um, just things are changing. Life is changing. We are learning to value our time so that everybody is aware. Um, we do value your time as much as we value our own. So you're going to see going forward more of the fees co plus commission basis where we are charging fees based on the type of travel that you're doing and how long you know research takes and everything that's involved. So you will be seeing a little bit more of that going forward. And I just wanted to let everybody know up front that personally, that's how I will be working. And just like any service-based industry or any service-based entrepreneur, yeah, just like a hairdresser, they charge for their time and their knowledge <laughs> and their experience, yeah. you know? So just don't be surprised. And I'm, I'm not going to be the only one. So just don't be surprised going forward that you're going to be seeing that more and more. But honestly, having a travel consultant that you trust, that knows you, that knows your likes and dislikes, just that alone is invaluable. So... I just want to put that out there for everybody. Love it. Thank you so much for your honesty. And this is why I want to work with you. This is why people should want to work with you. Because by you saying that up front, no one's going to be surprised. And here's the thing to our audience listening. No one wants to work for free. So if you're kind of like, you know, twirling your fingers right now or kind of twitching your eyebrows, get over it. Everyone wants to be paid for what they are doing. And yeah, I said that. And sorry if I stepped on your toes, but don't put them in front of me, okay? We all have to be paid, right? It's part of the process. It's a business. So if you don't want to pay someone to make your life easier, well, go on Google like I did and see how fast you get away with that one. And don't worry, we'll be waiting for you when you get back, all right? <laughs> Oh, behave, Adrian. Be kind. Uh, I am being <laughs> kind. This has been a wonderful experience, Jen, and I love the idea of traveling, and it's got me pumped up right now about looking at 2022 and what I can do going from there. We're going to make sure that all your information is put into the appointment notes of this podcast. So for our guests listening today, make sure you reach out to Jen for that free consultation and start planning and traveling later. Thank you, Jen, so much for being on our show today. It was a pleasure. Thanks, Adrian. Next time we'll do this in person so we can have donuts. Oh, that's going to be a fun sight to see. I may have to pause <laughs> the video a couple times. <laughs> have the donut face. <laughs> Wait, did I tell you? Okay, so one of the last times, sorry, just a real quick travel story. Yes, I um, mean, let's do it. <laughs> one of the last times I was in New York, I was with Paul, my husband, my sister, and my aunt. So uh, Paul had to leave early. We got to stay a few days after him. He was starting a new job, so he had to leave. So bye, Paul. The same day Paul went home, my sister and my aunt went to spend the night at our cousins in New Jersey because they were going to a Giants game. But I'm not a football fan. I saw Bruce Springsteen in that stadium. I don't need to see football. That's beside the point. Okay, so I got to 24 hours by myself, which was amazing. I got to go to the Museum of Anthropology and just take my time and walk around and just wandering New York by myself it was amazing. So the next morning, my aunt and my sister were coming back into the city because they and my cousin, they had tickets to go see Wendy Williams. <laughs> so <laughs> I had to go meet them at Wendy Williams to grab their luggage, take it back to our, <laughs> our accommodation, and then go back into the city. And as I'm waiting, I made sure to plan out where the donuts were. So <laughs> I actually went and found, I think it was plant donuts. I've got a picture of it somewhere. You have to show I me that picture of that. I want to see that picture at some point. I have it on one of my phones somewhere, but I do have a picture of it, of the donut that I searched New York for. So there you go. See, donuts everywhere. For our guests listening today, <laughs> we're not encouraging you to eat donuts all the time. What Jen and I are saying is that it is okay to have these things that bring you a little pleasure once in a while, and that happens to be donuts for us. Yeah. And if it's not donuts, find something else. But the idea here is that we share this common thing, travel and donuts. And I believe also, too, we share today with you a common theme, 
the need to get out, the need to explore, the mm -hmm. need to get away. So don't find yourself sitting at home worrying about things and waiting for things to change. Things change when you do. Start changing your perspective. Start planning out your future. Make sure that when you're done listening to this podcast, click on that link. Get a consultation going with Jen and see where it goes. You might be amazed at what happens. Plan now, travel later. Thank you so much, Jen. It's been a wonderful time with you. And thank you for everyone listening today. Let's go get our travel on. Thank you for listening to the Purposeful Life Show on the Connect Now podcast with your host, Adrian Starks. Subscribe to the show and connect with us on Facebook and Instagram. Learn more about us by visiting our website at cnbn.ca. Go to connectnowpodcast.com to be inspired by more life-changing content. Let's connect, learn, and grow.